this fresh edition of our new podcast, faithmiddleton.com zucchini. You can cook it fast and delicious. That's the great thing about it. Not to mention the taste. My food buddies on this show are Chris Prosperi of Metro Beast Restaurant in Simsbury, Connecticut, Joanne Church in New London, our editor and contributor, Carl Franklin, and of course, our mascot, my, my corgi. Oh, uh, he's a corgi bon mix, Bon Bon. He's curled bon up in his bon. bed as usual. That's what he does. He sleeps and sleeps. Okay. Here come, here the fun begins now. Let's, <laughs> what are we going to do with, um, with the uh, zucchini? Okay. Um, Joanne, I, you and I picked the same thing. So let's kind of do it together. So you start. So it's because it's fun, the zucchini boats, and we make zucchini pizza boats because they're f- fun to look at and they're really easy to eat. And, and you it- can dry them in Venice you know, because yes. <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> it's a fun twist on pizza without the carbs too. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's it's so easy. You just cut the zucchini lengthwise in half and then scoop out like at least a half an inch, right? To, and put that zucchini in the oven at 350 for like 10 minutes just to soften it up a little. But then in a pan, you get like a half cup chopped onion, um, a couple cloves of chopped garlic, mm-hmm. uh, one or two cups diced plum tomatoes, and, or whatever kind of tomatoes that your farmer farm stand might have a half a cup of reduced sodium marinara sauce, put all that, make it all live together. Um, and then it heats up, you know, the, the, uh, clove and the onion. What, what, so what do you put your, uh, zucchini boats in? Is there a container? Um, no, I've like to cook them. I put them on a cookie sheet. Uh huh. Okay. So then, so you take the sauce, you put the sauce on evenly with the zucchini shells or, um, yeah, and then top with ricotta, and we use oh, turkey wow. pepperoni, Ooh, okay, and uh, <laughs> and olives as well. And then you sprinkle yeah. with parm and mozzarella, and mm. then you put it under the broiler until the cheese gets all Ooh. nice and brown. Wow! And then put fresh basil or whatever you have out now in the garden on top, and they're just so fun to mm. serve and to eat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, eat it with well, your fingers. <laughs> Uh, yours, yes, right? yours surpasses mine. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's pizza in a in a zucchini boat. Yeah, right. I wonder how long do you cook them? Well, first you would cook them for like ten minutes at three fifty. Mm-hmm. Then I take them out and I let them cool. Then I mm. put the sauce and the cheese and the turkey pepperoni and then broil them. Right. So you could serve them though in the summer. You could serve them at room temperature for sure. They don't have to be hot to be delicious. Mm-hmm. Even cold the next day. That- Joanne, there's so many flavors in in the, in there that you could really serve them all during the winter too. Sure, absolutely, and you could put anything in them, right? Just whatever yeah. you like. Yeah. Doesn't it's have a to nice be- palette. Yeah, but what do you put in yours? Yeah, what well, do you put in yours, no, Faith? Far less than than what you put in. That's why I was saying that um, yours are far surpass what I do. You you just kept adding things, you know, and I thought, wow, wow, that sounds good. That sounds better than what I do. Um, I do the same garlic and onion and yeah. um, and it's, sometimes I put sausage. Yes, you know, nice. I, I love I love uh, to put sausage in, even though I'm trying to get off pigs because I'm feeling sorry for them. Mm. Um, oh. That's that's just me. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Um, how about Carl? How about you? What do you, what do you do? With sure. Zucchini. Yeah. So uh, here's my pork belly recipe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because love zucchini. <laughs> yeah. I saw this recipe on the Food Network. It was Michael Simon's dinners cooking out. So he does this <laughs> show in his backyard where he's mm. got a couple of grills and everything he does is on grills. Mm. Like you have one that's got a hot side and a cool side and temperature control and everything. So what he did was zucchini chips with Parmesan. Mm. And he says that this is like a a common chip in Greek restaurants without the Parmesan. Mm. But they're super crispy and he finds them to be a nice alternative potato chips. And I'll post the link yeah. here. 
So what you do is you slice zucchini ultra thin. I use a mandolin, but you know if you and if you're using a mandolin, kids use the guard because I know <laughs> so many people who have completely ruined. They'll never play guitar again Ouch. because oh, of that. Wow. Yeah. So you could, if you get a really sharp knife, you could cut them as thin, razor thin. But I use a mandolin. I cu- I put them on a, a paper towel lined sheet tray, and you sprinkle them with salt on both sides. And the salt draws out some of the moisture, and you let that stand for like 15 minutes. Wow. Now, here's the thing. You put another paper towel on top and press the remaining moisture out. You really want them to not have water in them because that will prevent them from getting crispy. And so you get some oil that you can use a neutral oil, peanut oil. Don't use vegetable oil. It's not good for you. you know. But peanut oil is a good alternative. 350, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. It's an opinionated show. It is. Yeah, this is my opinion. I'm not, you know, this is just my opinion. But anyway, what you want to do is coat the chips with cornstarch. Now, that is supposed to uh, make them even crispier when you put them in the oil. But I I don't use that. What I do is I put them on a rack in the oven at 200 degrees for a couple hours Mm, just to dry them out even a little bit more. Mm. And then you fry them until they're golden brown and crispy, oh two to three minutes, and you remove nice. them and eat them, Salt. <laughs> put Parmesan on them. What, what do you fry them in? What kind of oil? Well, my preferred frying oil is lard or tallow. Uh-huh. Uh, and if I don't have that, peanut oil would be my third choice. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to get the good lard. Yes. Carl knows yeah. that already, but... Um, yeah, we talked you know, about that last good week. Lard, yeah. yeah, good lard yeah, and lard. Remember how McDonald's used to do their fries in lard? In tallow. So beef, yeah. beef tallow. <laughs> yeah. Remember yeah. Julia Child used yeah. to think those were the best? Yeah. Well, they were. That's why. <laughs> That's <laughs> why. <laughs> and you know, know what? Not a lot of obese people back <laughs> then. Hmm. I don't know. Crazy, huh? Well, I don't think it was the problem we thought <laughs> it was. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, so that's my recipe. It's Michael Simon's, but love it. it. That's my way. We're going to take a quick break now, and you are listening to the Faith Middleton uh, podcast, and it's faithmiddleton.com is where you'll find us, and it's, and we'll be right back from this break, and then we have more food. I'm with uh, Joanne Church, uh, Carl Franklin, Chris Prosperi, and uh, our dog, our mascot, Bon Bon, who's bon bon. Um, half <laughs> half corgi and half God knows what. And so, um, he, but he's so cute. You should see him. He's the um, cutest. He's adorable. He's the cutest. So um, you know, we're doing zucchini. That was Joanne's idea, and, and I loved it because... I really love the zucchini, and I'll, I'll do it the simplest, simplest way possible. I'll, I'll throw thicker slices in a, a frying pan or into the oven in a, a casserole dish mm. and let them, you know, uh, work on themselves, and I'll pour some tomato sauce over them. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, it couldn't couldn't be simpler. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, who have we got? Chris. Chris Prosperi, go for it. All right. This is what I do every year right around this time. And I just got the zucchini in yesterday when I'm planning that I'm planning to do the same recipe with. And it's my spicy zucchini pickles. And I make probably about 20 quarts. And I do them oh. in the quart jars. So I, and I don't can them, but I refrigerate them. So, and I, I guess if you know canning, you can can these as well, but mm. you don't have to if you keep them in the refrigerator. So I take, uh, large zucchinis and I cut them into, you know, probably give them as gifts. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Give them as gifts. I, whenever, and, and not only that, but like the, the host, it's the perfect hostess gift. I have mm. these perfect little mason jars and then I have a little ribbon that sits on top. And whenever you're going over to people's houses, everyone brings wine and, I don't know. I just decided I was going to bring food. Yeah, so of I always jar stuff up in the, in the fall. All right. So <laughs> large zucchinis, I slice them, you know, not too thin, probably about a half inch thick. Mm-hmm. Right. And if they're really big, cut them in half or in quarters. Right. Mm-hmm. To, so you get them. Then I stuff them in the jar. Then I take some thinly sliced onion and put that on top of the zucchini in the jar. Uh, sliced jalapeno. That's what gets the spice. 
Again, mm. put them on top of the jar. And then on the stove, I take water, uh, sugar, white wine vinegar or white distilled vinegar, a little bit of kosher salt, and then I put curry powder, mustard seed, and a little oh. bit of chili pepper flakes in that oh. mixture too. So Bring that Indian. up to a full simmer. You're kind of yeah. doing Indian Yeah, and it gives that. it a nice little color too, yeah. right? And the curry powder has turmeric in it, which is good for you. Mm. So I once you get that up right up to a boil, I turn it off, and then I just let it not I let it come down a little bit in temperature so I don't burn my hand on the jars. And mm-hmm. then I just take a ladle mm-hmm. and I just ladle that into each jar. And then I let them cool to just about room temperature. I put the jar, the lids on them, clean them nicely, label them and throw them in my refrigerator. Then boom, and how long I have can them they all stay winter long. And they can, they sit there. I've been eat. I still have one jar left in my refrigerator at home <laughs> from last year's batch. And that's my goal. My goal is to yeah. make them and still have them from last yeah. year. My goal is to get my hands on that jar. <laughs> yeah. The, but hands is the problem, right? That's where I was going with this. If you're going, if you really want to keep these for a long time, keep your little fingers out of them because it really mm. does spoil them. So what I'm saying is, mm. is when you bring the jar out, open it up, Use tongs. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. yeah, don't mm-hmm. dip your fingers in there and pick them out because <laughs> that, if you're going to keep them for a long time, that will spoil them. You'll introduce bacteria. <laughs> yes, you introduce bacteria to it. And even in the fridge, I've ruined quite a, quite a number of um, black olives that way, sticking <laughs> yep. my fingers yep. in the jar. Uh, yep. When my daughter was young, she used to put black olives on all of her fingers like, like that was a thing. She walk around like, you know, like she had black olive disease or something. Don't put those back in the jar. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to eat them off your fingers, right? Absolutely. That's the goal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, zucchini pickles. And then you, again, it's a good way to use up all your zucchini too. Mm-hmm. Like I'll like use, it. you know, a, I'll use a full bushel of zucchini doing this tomorrow. Now, do you make them like kind of half sour or do you let them go all the way to... They're a sweet pickle. They have sugar. No, they have a little bit of sugar. They have about a half a cup of sugar to two cups of vinegar. Okay. So they got a nice little sweetness. Like a bread and butter kind of thing. Yeah, I did try making them sour, but they're just not as good. Mm. The, I don't know if it's just but cucumbers wow. do better as a sour. Um, these do better as a bread and butter. And you can even cut them crinkle cut. I did that one year. Someone gave me a crinkle cut <laughs> fancy. knife. And I used it, and everybody thought they were super fancy, but then I lost the knife. So, <laughs> Hey, Carl, what's that, what's that special sugar that you let me borrow? Allulose. Allulose. Oh, sure. You could use that, right? You certainly could, yeah, hundred yep, percent. Because it doesn't really do anything chemically; it just provides a, a foil to the to the sourness of the vinegar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you could use, and you could use a little maple syrup too, or a honey. You, right? It doesn't have to. Oh. I just like again; it gives a it a sweet. little bit of sweetness. So my friend R- Rose Quiello, her her mother would make me. She knew I love this, and she would um, slice zucchini thin, thin, thin in long strips, like you you do, Carl. Mm. And, um, and then she'd, uh, put all this meat sauce, you know, tomato sauce, but with meat, mm. uh, like a bolognese mm-hmm. sauce on it. And she'd layer this, all of this up there. This is just like wow. what I talked about last week. Eggplant. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, I, and it's so delicious. Right. I can't tell you. Sounds good. Yeah. And like lasagna, you can, you can use strips of, mm. Zucchini instead of the lasagna noodle, right? Right. Yeah, good sure. the Zucchini enchiladas that I've talked yeah. about in a other show. You use the sliced zucchini in place of the tortilla. Mm. Yeah. Have any of you used the zoodle maker, the spiralizer to make yes. the zucchini yes. noodles? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Joanne so just gave here. me a fresh. No, I think we all tried it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I it didn't wasn't think for it me. Was, it wasn't, I didn't think it was worth my time. <laughs> you know, it, it just, um, I mean, it tasted fine and I liked the idea of it a lot, but I, it just, I was just like another object yeah. <laughs> to stick somewhere. Um, yeah, it, it, it gets watery very quick because the zucchini mm-hmm. is loaded with water. So mm-hmm. if it sits for even 10 minutes, then the bowl is filled with zucchini mm-hmm. water. Right. And then <laughs> they started selling them in bags and frozen. Yeah. So oh, it's yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Well, people, um, I, I, I guess we have to take off, right? And we'll be back with you next week mm-hmm. uh, at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I uh, can't wait to see you. Bon Bon says bye. Bye-bye. And um, oh, bye-bye. thank you all for, for doing this. We are at faithmiddleton.com. Or wherever you get your podcasts. Or, or as Carl says, wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> okay. See you later. See ya. Bye. Waiting for the summer to come.